Hey, what is up everyone? The Streaming Enderman here, back again with another video, and boy am I excited. In today's video, I'm taking a look at my second Sheffield knife that arrived from the famous Sheffield shop. My first one being the Ettrick. And this is one of the most classic Sheffield knives, and it is a lamb foot. So without further ado, let's start taking a look at it. So first things first, no gapping whatsoever on this which is really nice to see. Blade centering, not the best, but I don't really care about blade centering. As long as it's not scraping the inside of the knife. Pins are nice and flush, and this is a rosewood handle. This was the only wood handle available for this particular knife. And it was the cheapest one as well, running at 28 pounds. These are made to order, they take about three to four weeks normally, and with shipping being slow, they could take longer. However, they are going to be making these at a much more brisk pace and selling them off of the famous Sheffield shop which is where I got this and they're going to be selling them so that you could order one and the next day it'll ship so they're planning on amassing a stock and then putting them back on the website so they're no longer made to order and you can just buy them whenever but anyway this is a unique one this is actually a left-handed version now I am about this much away from being ambidextrous. I can do almost everything with both hands, except for like one or two things. And it's because of that that it holds me back from being one in a hundred, but I'm fine with that. But I often favor my left hand when given the option. So I figured, why not try a left hand knife? And the thing was, is before I actually found this one, I was planning on getting a lamb foot um, but I wanted the ebony handles. But then I noticed that the ebony was only available in the right-hand version. So, then I noticed the Etric, and that it was available in ebony. So I managed to still get an ebony wood knife in the form of the Etric. And this one, I managed to get the rosewood, because it was the only wood available. And I still got my left-hand lamb's foot. So I figured it's so rare to find a left-hand knife. Same production time, same steel, same craftsmanship, same wood, same everything. It, it was worth it, and the price was identical, so get the left-hand version in the rosewood, and then just get the ebony wood on the Etric pattern. But anyway, let's take a look at this. It's got a very, very strong pole, which is a famous thing that Sheffield is known for. And here is your knife. Now keep in mind, the nail nick and... The printing would be here normally, if it was a right-hand version, but because this is a left-hand version, the printing is right here. And it says, A Right and Son, Limited, Sheffield, England. With the nail nick. And this is a C70 carbon steel blade. And it's a very nice pattern. It feels really good in the hand. There's no blade play on this. Transition from the blade to the back spring is pretty much perfect. So this is a very nicely crafted knife. The pins are flush. So this is a classic Sheffield pattern. The lamb foot has been around for, I believe, at least 150 years. Maybe even pushing 200. But I'm not entirely certain. I'll have to double check, but this is just a very nice pattern. I really like it, and it's got a straight edge, so good cutting quality on this. And this isn't terribly sharp, but it's not dull either. I do believe the Etric was a bit sharper. I'll just do a side-by-side -side comparison. Here is the Etric. So you can see a much more serpentine look and a smaller top. While this one remains rather wide for the entire portion of the handle. And then uh, a thicker blade with a sharp curve at the top. While this one is just more of a gradual um, curve around. And of course this is the ebony wood versus the lighter rosewood. So pretty nice. Like I said, the back spring um, strength on these is pretty good. 
much stronger than your average case or buck. But no half stops on this. You can see it closes nicely. And I actually am planning on, after this video, heading to Guardians of the Lamb's Foot, which, for those who don't know, is a Blade Forums group, and it's dedicated solely to the Lamb's Foot. And it's a very interesting community, very alive, actually, for such an obscure and old knife pattern. They seem to be quite popular with collectors nowadays. That's how the Blade Forums group got to be so large it was from just all the all the people interested in this knife and its history yeah the cutting edge on this is n not as sharp as i would like but it's like i said it's not dull either so all in all for a classic sheffield pattern i really like this I think it's a great knife, and I think that you'd enjoy it. It's 28 pounds at the famous Sheffield shop. Definitely not a terrible price. Um, and I think that they're worth your time. So, yeah. That's pretty much all there is to say for now. I will be back again with another video soon. But yeah, this is the Arthur Wright and Son Left Hand Lambfoot in Rosewood. And this is The Streaming Enderman, as always, signing off. Goodbye.